In this video, I will discuss about XAMPP not starting MySQL Server problem. So there will be many reasons. So if we open XAMPP, so I'm just starting my XAMPP and if I try to start MySQL, then it will give an error saying MySQL shut down unexpectedly. This may be due to a blocked port, missing dependencies, improper privileges. Okay, so there will be many reasons. So to fix this issue, if we check log of MySQL, so just click on that logs button and click on MySQL underscore error dot log file. It will open the log file in notepad and scroll down to the bottom and you will see errors with timestamp and match the error with current timestamp. So we got the error at 133 which is here. So the error is missing valid ID at start of file. File is not a valid area control file or maybe error will be related to that area control file. Then we simply need to go inside the XAMPP directory. So just quit the XAMPP. If you got this type of error while quitting XAMPP, just click just click here multiple times and you will see the pop up to force stop. Just click on close the program button and hit the cancel button and it will stop the XAMPP control panel. So now go to this PC, then go to your installation directory where you have installed XAMPP. So I have installed my XAMPP in G drive. So I will open up the G drive, then go to the XAMPP folder and there will be MySQL folder. Just open it and go to the data folder and there will be two files area underscore log dot zero 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 one and area underscore log underscore control file then simply delete this area underscore log underscore control file and then start your XAMPP control panel again now try to start MySQL server as you can see MySQL is now started at port 3306 which is default port of MySQL and if you check that data folder again then there is that array underscore log underscore control file created by MySQL itself. So now try to start Apache and open phpMyAdmin. Now I will open phpMyAdmin to ensure that MySQL is working or not. As you can see phpMyAdmin is loaded which means MySQL is working properly and you can see my database as well. So MySQL issue is fixed. So this is the way you can fix MySQL not starting problem in Windows. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends as well so I can create more valuable content for you. Follow us on other social media accounts as well. Links are in description of this video.